Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're having a great day and in today's video we'll be talking about the monolithic suppressor. Now before any of you say like, you know, it's a no-brainer because this pro player uses it, this YouTuber uses it, this other pro player likes to use it all the time, we're gonna be talking about the monolithic suppressor and not the player's performance. So first, here's my answer. I think it's an inefficient attachment. But first, let's talk about its positives. The first positive is it reduces your firing sound so your enemies don't fear you much and it also keeps you off the minimap so you won't be targeted a lot when you fire your gun. And lastly, which I think is why a lot of people like to use a monolithic suppressor, is it increases the range by 25%. Some examples to give you what 25% range is, is if your gun can 4 shot kill up to 20 meters, with a monolithic suppressor, it will be able to 4-shot kill up to 25 meters. If your gun can 4-shot kill up to 8 meters, then it can 4-shot kill with a monolithic suppressor up to 10 meters. So, to be honest, with these positives, I don't really blame people for liking the monolithic suppressor. But right now, we're going to go into the downsides. So the downsides are, it makes your gun less accurate, it makes your ADS speed slow by 2 frames, and it decreases your strafing. What this means is that it basically decreases both aspects of accuracy and aspects of mobility. If you try to make up for its mobility nerf while at the same time improving the mobility of the gun, you end up having an inaccurate gun. If you end up trying to make up for its accuracy and make the gun more accurate, you end up having a slow gun, just like the one I'm using in this video. As you can see my ASM-10, I am using a monolithic suppressor along with some accuracy increasing attachments to not only make up for the accuracy downside of the monolithic but also make the gun better in terms of accuracy. But it's kinda slow. This is why I consider the monolithic suppressor a inefficient attachment and why I personally don't run it a lot when I'm trying to make an optimal build for a gun. That being said, I do sometimes run it on a couple of my builds although I don't really show them on YouTube, except for that HBR build I did a while back during the Going Dark playlist. But yeah, that's why if you're trying to make the most optimal tryhard build in the game, I wouldn't personally recommend the monolithic suppressor. But at the end of the day, try it out. If you feel your gun is still really good with the monolithic suppressor, then keep it. At the end of the day, Gunsmith is about making your personal build. That's all for this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And yeah. Goodbye.